Before we start this video, I just wanted to share this magical sky with you guys. I love it when the sky is pink and blue. Wow. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Shizen. Happy New Year everyone. I'm so happy that we're in a new year. Fresh start. I'm really excited. Super excited for all the content that I have planned. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna give you guys some reasons why your hair might not be growing. Also, I cut bangs. I did it. I actually did it today. I'm super happy I did it. I only did like a tiny mini bang. Only a few pieces so that I can still hide it if I wanted to. If I didn't want bangs, I could just be like, whoop. And if I want them, I can be like, whoop. I feel so different. I feel like my face looks different. Let me know if you guys like it. In this video, I wanna talk about some causes, some reasons, some things that you might be doing to your hair, it might not be growing or why it might be breaking off. If your goal for the new year is to grow your hair out or to grow your hair back healthier and care for your body, your hair, your health better overall, then this is the video for you. So let's jump right into it. One reason why your hair might not be growing is especially if you have a length where your ends kind of rub on your shoulders. If you decide to cut your hair to that length in the winter time, think about it. In the winter you're wearing different types of sweaters, you're wearing different types of jackets, and you wear your hair down a lot in the winter that hair is basically just brushing on all that fabric and there are a bunch of fabrics that kind of break your hair off fabrics such as cotton nylon polyester and wool will soak up the moisture from your hair leading to dryness and therefore breakage i always say in the winter time try to keep your hair up or try to wear sweaters and clothing that don't mess up your hair, don't, that don't mess up the ends because if you do wear your hair out a lot and it's just brushing over that material that your hair can't handle or that's bad for your hair, your hair will be breaking. Even if your hair is longer as well, but if it's like right there and it's just brushing over it a lot, just be mindful of that. Another reason your hair might not be growing or it might be breaking off is not having a routine. I feel like a routine is definitely key to growing your hair and letting your hair get used to a product that is good for you. Also, don't fixate on someone else's hair routine. Of course, on YouTube, there's so many videos of girls with maybe the same texture as you, or you think you have the same texture as someone and they're using A, B, and C, and you start to use it and you're like, oh, this is not working. If you've been using that product for two weeks and it's still not working, just move on. Like everyone's hair is different. Make sure that you use something that's good for you. Uh, I know that there's also a lot of pressure on using natural products and I'm all for that, honestly. But I have some clients where they only use natural products and their hair is thriving. And then I have some clients their hair just does not like all natural products. So just do whatever works for you. Don't fixate on what someone else tells you. Like, oh, you have to use only this or only that. Make sure that you feel out what works best for you. It's a really big tip that I have. Another reason your hair might not be growing as fast or as thick and healthy is obviously your diet. What are you eating? What are you drinking? Are you consuming a lot of sugars? Are you consuming a lot of processed foods? All these things lead to autoimmune disease, inflammation, and just not your overall health. It's not just your hair, it's also your skin and your gut. I feel like diet is number one. If you even change the slightest bit in your diet, if you drink sodas, like try to eliminate soda first. If you eat a lot of processed foods, try to minimize it and you will definitely see a difference over time. It's not something that happens overnight, but definitely within a month. Okay, another reason your hair might not be growing, I have so many clients that tell me that they sleep with wet hair in a bun and they keep that bun forever so the hair is wet for a longer period of time hair does not want to be wet all the time yes we need moisture that's why we have a wash day and we do deep conditioning and all that but think about it even if your skin is in water too long you get those like wrinkly fingers. If you keep your hair in a bun while it's wet, that's gonna cause breakage because your hair is way more fragile. It's not good for the uh, elasticity of your hair. So I always recommend making sure that your hair is dry before you put it up in a bun. Don't sleep with wet hair in a bun. If you wanna sleep with wet hair, fine. It can dry overnight. 
I don't like sleeping with, with wet hair. I just don't like when my hair is wet in general, but definitely don't keep it in a bun for the elasticity of your hair and therefore it will break way quicker. Your hair gets more fragile and also it's gonna stink. It's just gonna stink. It's gonna smell sour. I would never do it and I don't recommend it. Another reason your hair might not be growing is because you never use a clarifying shampoo or any clarifying products. There are a lot of you that really trust the natural route, which I do too, but make sure that if you wanna go the natural route that you really that you really do your research on how to clarify your scalp but for example by using apple cider vinegar by using a clay something that will really get that scalp clean i am not opposed to using a sulfate shampoo once a month to really clarify that scalp i always recommend deep conditioning after that's just a must i deep condition twice a week the only tip that i have for myself is to keep up with my trims and I might stop using keratin. I'm not sure though, because the keratin is what gives me this insane shine. And I always get my curls back from the keratin. I'm just, I love my keratin. It's so great. This is what I mean. You just gotta find your routine, do something that works for you. How I apply it and the keratin that I use, it retains my length like crazy. Because as you know, if you've been watching my channel and if you are following me on Instagram, I have been any color under the rainbow but blue. Yeah, and green. Those are the two colors I have not tried. Almost all colors from black to really, really icy blonde and whatever is in between, I have tried that color. So my hair has been through it and I've done that since I was 14 and my hair is still doing great. It's still thriving. So super happy about that. Okay, another reason why your hair might not be growing is a disease in the body if like i said inflammation or an autoimmune disease now i have an autoimmune disease so that causes alopecia i'm also very excited to announce in this video that i will be coming out with my own hairline Curl juice, I'm so excited. It's something I've been, been working hard on it. And I'm really passionate about this because I have alopecia, so I know what it feels like. I've been dealing with alopecia since I was 18 and I never understood what it was. But now that I know, I know exactly how to handle it, how to tackle it. There's a lot of rules for me when it comes to food. The type of alopecia that I have is called, there's a bunch of different types of alopecia that you can have. The type of alopecia that I have is frontal fibrosing alopecia which means it only occurs in the headband area of my hair it never happens in the back sometimes it's a whole patch that recedes and sometimes it's just like those perfectly round uh, spots that just disappear I have one right now but it is growing back as you can see I've had it all over there has not been one part that hasn't had it it's like I've lost basically this whole area it always does grow back because I think I know what to do and like I said I've been working on my own products and I've been using it and it's been working for me and besides that I've also been more healthy with my food and my water and even with soda I've been trying to cut out soda all the way I was already not a big soda drinker anyway back to it where was I autoimmune disease the rules for me when it comes to my autoimmune disease are some things that I have to stay away from number one is processed foods anything that is not natural is a processed food thought that i was eating super healthy especially last year but i noticed that there are so many like sneaky ingredients in things that you might not think that it's in there i was still eating things that have sugar that have white flour that have seed oils all these things i need to cut out because i'm extremely sensitive everything that's happening on the body if you have alopecia if you have things going on if you have thinning hair it is always the inside it can also be stress it can be something mental but um, your brain and your gut are connected it's basically one big brain something's going on here or something's going on here you will see it on the outside 
I don't do too great with dairy. Gluten, things that I can eat, it, the list is very small and short, which for me is okay. It, I used to struggle a lot more with it and now it's a little easier. I do love sushi and that's another thing that I can't have. I've been eating sushi like crazy, which is my next topic I wanna get to. Another reason why your hair might not be growing is because you have never done a detox. Last year I've done two detoxes and they cleared everything. They cleared my eczema, they cleared my fogginess, I was like having panic attacks and I'm actually doing a detox right now again because over the holidays when my family was here I've been having sushi, a lot of red meats and you know what they cause? Parasites. Yes. Parasites could be the cause of many things, many problems. If you feel like something's wrong in your body, you haven't been feeling right, please consider doing a detox. I'm doing this one, I got this from Amazon. I will leave the link down below. It is called Intestinal Cleanse by Health Harmony. It is this one, second day being on it. I'm really happy I started it again, but one of them, it can also cause hair loss, it can cause fatigue, it can cause uh, memory loss, it can cause anxiety attacks, panic attacks, stress. It can literally take over your body if you have a lot of parasites. So please do a detox, start there and you will see your health going up, your hair growth going up, your skin, your mood, your energy, everything. This is a really big one. Okay, I have two more and then I'm done with this video. So I don't like to put oil on my hair after my wash and go. I like the lighter oils. I don't like my hair to feel greasy. I don't want the oil to be sticky and where I touch my hair and then the oil's on my hands. So what I do like to do, what I have been doing is oiling my scalp and my hair a day before I'm gonna wash it. I've been oiling my scalp actually twice, sometimes three times a week because in the winter months my, my scalp does get drier and when it's on my scalp, I don't mind it. I don't feel it on my scalp and I don't see it on my scalp. Help. So I've been using my own oil which is coming out very very soon. It's a blend of oils and it's been working amazing for me and of course with that I've been massaging my scalp which also really helps with the blood flow and therefore hair growth and also my hair has been growing back thicker. Also what I've been doing is using that same oil, my oil, from root to tip one day before I know I'm gonna wash it. I will be putting it in and it makes my hair so soft that I can literally just brush through it. I'll put, put it in two braids. I'll put my bonnet on. I have like three bonnets. One is especially for the, for the time that I oil it so that it can like kind of catch the oils. I don't put in too much. I don't let it drip. I do like to put it in generously. So that has been helping my hair tremendously. It's been helping with the shine as well. It's been helping with the growth, with absolutely everything. So that's another tip I can give you if you don't incorporate oils that way. I recommend doing it that way for sure. And then of course the last one, one of the reasons why your hair might not be growing to its full potential is working out. I feel like working out is really a big one because it just gets the blood flowing, grows quicker. It's it, That's just facts. One thing I noticed is that when I take saunas, my hair starts growing. That's a major one. Go into the sauna, it's not only good for that, it's also really good for your health. These were my tips. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.